before this man got his hands on the European Cup that he is holding in this statue, the European Cup had only been won in three cities. They were Madrid, Lisbon and Milan. Not only were Celtic the first side from Britain to be crowned European champions, they were the first team from Northern Europe to win the famous trophy. The captain that day was Billy McNeil, the player, Celtic's greatest ever captain. There he is lifting the European Cup. But the most amazing thing, in my opinion, about Jock Steen, who is just over there, and Billy McNeil, who is right here, isn't the fact that they were the first two people to lift the European Cup for a British side as captain and manager. It's the fact that they both started their senior careers at a small non-league club in that direction. Two of the most important people in British football history both achieved the greatest thing that you could achieve in club football and they both started their senior careers at completely different times at Blantyre Victoria. A lot of people in Scotland may never heard of before. Maybe there's some Celtic fans out there who aren't quite aware of the history of Blantyre Victoria, Jock Steen and Billy McNeil. You really can't make this up. Here it is, the place where it all began for the two men who first lifted the European Cup for a British side. I'm Blake Welsh, uh, I'm the uh, former president here at Banter Vicks, I'm now currently just uh, on the committee but uh, I do a lot of uh, stuff, volunteer work here with the Vicks, so um, I do the programme, I do the social media, mm -hmm. uh, website, things like that, I also uh, do the gate and do all the merchandise here at the club. And how important is this football club to Scotland given the amount of legends that have started their careers here? Yeah, well, a lot of junior clubs are, um, when you look back at all the historic teams that won European trophies. Mm -hmm. um, Celtic won in 67, Rangers 72, Aberdeen in the 80s, they all came from juniors, you know, all the players that you look, they all mainly came from Glasgow junior teams, you know, um, and we uh, had a, f a few famous names in, in our squad through the years, you know, yeah. not even that won European trophies but went on to, to greater things such as Bill McNeil uh, and Jockstein are the two obvious ones, but also more modern, like guys like Stephen Craig and, uh, played here and, and, and a lot. And, Joe Jordan, Jordan as well, if Joe I remember. Jordan, yeah, yeah, Joe Jordan started his career here as a, teen, a teenager um, before um, going off to Morton. Yeah. Um, he started here for about six months. So, yeah, there's, there's a list of names I, I could go on all day about how many. Of course, I can imagine. <laughs> and obviously, um, there's some huge stories, like we say, with European Cup winners actually playing yeah. here. But you can see like the size of the club. You're not obviously a massive club in the scale of world football. Mm. Where are the club playing now and how are they getting on? We're currently in the seventh year um, of Scottish football, so um, now we've introduced the pyramid that was formerly junior, which was separate to the mm -hmm. Scottish senior ranks. Um, now that the pyramids came in with the seventh tier, so that's the West of Scotland football uh, first division we're in at the moment. Um, so that, that's kind of the, the position we've always been in. We've Going well this season? In. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. Um, we off the back of a couple of bad defeats there, a four 0 and a three 0 in the last couple of weeks, but we're going well up until that point. We won about four or five in a row, I think. Yep. Um, we a lot of clean sheets as well, so we're still not, not too bad uh, position-wise in the table. Um, other teams have a lot of games in hand over us, so, so uh, we're happy. Uh, probably top end of the table, you know. Amazing. The end of the season. And it's been pissing down yeah <laughs> to say the least the last couple of days and yeah. so the manager you say is that yeah, the manager, that's the manager John Gibson in the right there he's and out there uh, currently working the pitch, so, on the left, so um, fingers crossed the game will be on yeah. imagine playing here look at these amazing dressing rooms not only are you playing for a team that has had former European Cup winners play for him but you also get Jaffa Cakes That's Billy McNeil top right up there, isn't it? And then you were showing me these pictures. These are new since I've last been, right? Yeah, the pictures are here. Is that Junior Cup? That's the Junior Cup in 1970. So if you want it you're on your badge, it's three stars. Is that three Junior Cups, three, yeah? 50, 70 and 82. Oh, so 50, 70 and 82. And what stadium's that in then? That's Ibrox. Oh, that's at Ibrox, yeah, so it doesn't look yeah. like Hamden. No, no, it's Ibrox. Were these other two at Hamden then? Yeah, they two were at Hamden, yeah. Oh, so amazing. That, that was played at Hamden against Cumberland. That was 3-0 win for the Vicks. Yep. Um, that was... Uh, 
we play at Hamden. The first game was a 1-0, second game we won 1-0. Who against? Um, Pennacook Athletic. OK, yeah. And then this one here we beat Bellison. Nice. Uh, Bellison, we beat 1-0 at Ibrox. But is that a bit of a Glasgow derby in the final? Yeah, we've got a well, my girlfriend from Bellison, so I'll remind her of that. Nice. <laughs> Bellison Junior aren't there anymore. I'm Jack McGilvery, the General Secretary of Blantyre Victoria. And I was speaking to Blake earlier about some of the players that have played here. We've spoken about Billy McNeil, Jock Steen. Who else has come through here? Well, you've got uh, Joe Jordan. He uh, obviously have this the big Joe. He came here as a young lad. He was only about, I think, about 16. One okay. of the youngest players, if not the youngest, to ever play with Blantyre Vicks. And then he went back to juvenile football, Morton, Leeds, mm -hmm. and obviously AC Milan. So he started to sell here at Blantyre. And Castle you say Park. there's been a former Man United player? Yes. And Chelsea? Chelsea, well, there was uh, Alec Forsyth, Ex uh, started off with Party Thistle, yep. Manchester United, Rangers, Mother, Hamilton Ackies, was a good Hamilton Ackies player. Yep. He came here at the end of his career. And who was the Chelsea player? Uh, John McNaught, wow. known to the Ackies fans as Big Wurzel, famous Ackies, really good attacking midfielder. Played with Chelsea, uh, man of the match in one of the first ever Sky games in the 1988, I think it was. All the history of the players and the legends that have been here, what does the future hold for Blantyre Vicks? Well, it, it, it's basically, it, we're, we're a wee bit of an aging committee, as you can notice yourself. So we're forming There's a few younger guys bringing the average that's down. That's right, we need young committee men, <laughs> we need young uh, volunteers, people to come down and help us here at the KG Stadium. We're so anyone welcome. watching who's from the local area want to get involved? MD at all from the local area, or out, outside the local area, Hamilton or anywhere around. Fancy's getting involved, we're a right good friendly club. Get down and let us know down at the pitch. We're here most days from about 10 o'clock, so we always welcome a hand. Sunday mornings we're trying to clear the park up, the divots, etc. So if you're looking for a good hobby and you're interested in football, we bit disillusioned with the senior game. Get yourself down to us. A familiar face, manager of Maybowl. Yep. How have things been going since I last saw you? Um, good. Yeah, good. Good. A few new faces in. A few old faces in. <laughs> There's one coming now. Um, listen, I love the football. I love being the manager of this team. I love being involved in the football. So yes, it's always good. So you're coming up against a team today who produced uh, Jock Steen and Billy McNeil, who won the European Cup. How does that make you feel? Today, they? They're not playing today. <laughs> um, but how does that make you feel coming up against a team of that sort of level here. of history? I love. I don't have a great record here. I've got to be honest with you. But I love coming here. It's a great football environment, and you you really feel as if you're part of. A, at our level, this is a good place to come. Amazing. And do you think clubs in and around Glasgow have a bit more of an advantage than clubs I, like yourself? You're quite far out. I, I, I spoke to other managers in Glasgow and, and you know they, they, they'll say to us that we have a budget in Ayrshire we have more money available in Ayrshire so yeah but you've got you know a million and a half people to pick from Okay. Yeah. I don't have that where I'm from uh, we've got a very small market and it tends to be a lot of the same teams chasing the same players everyone's got the same struggles I suppose in a lot of ways it's not a struggle it's it's it's, it's a good thing you, you want to try and make your team better yeah. you, <laughs> you want to make things better and that's what I always strive to do I've got to try and make players better and make the club better and there's good people as I said before there's good people that Mabel who help to push the right direction. It is touch and go whether this game will even be on today. The rain's been pretty bad. It's not raining too heavily just now, but look, as you can see, the guys are out there like forking the pitch just now. It's like an hour till kickoff and the ref's still not here. I think I can just see him turning up now. Um, so hopefully he comes, says the pitch is all right, and we can watch this game. So I've actually really enjoyed the intro and interviewing everyone today. If you are watching this, then the video's up and I'm buzzing. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Forty minutes until kickoff. Look, no one's out warming up yet. I think they'll probably come out and try and preserve the pitch as much as they can and warm up as late as they can. Players are getting changed and they're just now ready to come out for their warm ups. And I've shown you my editing process from a lot of different press boxes in the past, whether that be Hamden Park, Parkhead, Celtic Park, obviously, um, as well as many others in the Premiership and around Scotland. But today, this is where I'm editing from. Here's the laptop. We're firing it up. Look at this in this little stand in this ground with no floodlights, it's pissing down with rain. But it was the home of the first European Cup winners as manager and captain for a British club.
I'll have a roll and sausage then, please. That's okay. Yeah. Just roll and sausage will be fine, please. Thank you. Has to be Bryn. I don't mind a Scotch pie, but oh, I don't mind a Scotch pie, but when um, roll and sausage is on offer, you can't say no. Brown sauce as well. Cup of tea that's getting rained on. Non-league football. There he is, 2023's Billy McNeil. David? Yes. Fellow Englishman, yes. living in Scotland. Yes. How did all that come about for you then? The living in Scotland part. Um, I married uh, a, a girl from Glasgow. Okay. We met in London uh, in a pub, the old fashioned way. Yep. And um, uh, yeah, fell in love, got married, moved uh, to Scotland. And how do you enjoy living in Scotland, especially when you come and watch football at places like this? Um, I love. I. I um. I just love the, the, the kind of grittiness, yeah. the earnestness, um, the, uh, this proper old school football, uh, and I can afford it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm a Charlton fan originally, Charlton away, trying to get down to Carlisle next Saturday, and that's £26 for League One. Yeah. And uh, here it's £7, and it's, it's, the kid's free. Yeah. So. And you can get entry, pie, drink, or like a tenner, can't you? Yeah, it's. You know, it's like football in the 80s, literally. And then what do you make of this football club? Obviously, there's a lot of history, some big names that have, have come through here in the past. I love it. Um, when I first started coming back in 2018, I think I was a bit of a curiosity with them, for yep. them for the accent and everything. I get a lot of apples and pears, all that kind of stuff. But um, I love coming and they, they've kind of taken, taken to me nice. a little bit. There's a great slope on this pitch as well. I hope the camera can pick it up, but that side seems a lot higher than that one. Oh. Good hands in weather like this as well. Oh, there's anybody else. Oh, no. Deflection. Yeah, <laughs> that one. Yes! Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. We're winning 1-0. We're winning 1-0. Evan. And? David. So you come down to watch Blantyvix play fairly often? Yeah. We go all over. Okay. But, uh, yeah, don't don't to do. So you go all over to, to go ground going hopping to and stuff. Norwich, yeah. Scotland tomorrow. Okay, nice. And a little bit of a different experience, Hampden Park to here. Yeah. yeah. What do you make of these smaller stadiums? Um, better because it's not really that far from most of them. Yeah. Yeah, and you can sort of hear what the players are saying. You can hear what the referees are saying. And what do you make of the history here at Blantyvix? We've had some amazing players who have played here in the past. Yeah, that was the lines and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Billy McNeil, I, yeah. And I, think, I think most of these clubs have got a, a, a good history. Yeah, they do. Yeah, one of the, I mean, we live just up the road, so we go and see sort of different ones. Like I was at a Mark Hall last week, uh, we've been watching Royal Albert a bit as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, nice. And they've got an amazing history. Uh, so, uh, it's good, I think, I think, um, the, probably in terms of value for money, you can't beat the best of the league. Yeah, so uh, it's probably free for you to come in, right? Yeah. Kids, right. yeah, there you go. Yeah. And it's 1-0 at the moment, Blantyvex. Yep. What have you thought of the game? What do you think the um, final score will be? 2-1 two, two, to Blantyre. 2-1, you reckon, and what do you think? Uh, anyone's game at the moment. Uh, anybody, who, I've just all the conditions, I think, because it's, we'll it's see how the second worse. half pans it's out, yeah. worse as the, as the game goes on, so yep. we'll see. Go on, Dale! Go on, Dale! Oh, brilliant! Oh, look at, oh, look at that pitch now. Okay, it's so proper I'm, football, that. Isn't it? it's, a, it's like looking at it when you looked at the, the highlights from actually doing that. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> proper throwback. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, shoot, oh, son! 
He has to just shoot there, surely. Mayball have equalised. You got a knee slide in these conditions, haven't you? One off. Jockstein and Billy McNeil will be smiling from above after that one. Doesn't even look like he's in the same team as Maybole. Look at this. The mother limp compared to the rest of them. Full time. Three points, 2-1. What did you make of the game? Yeah, it was a great game. Uh, we played well. Um, I thought we could have been more comfortable in the end. Um, we seem to be doing that a lot this season, just yeah. winning games by a goal, you know, one nils, two ones all the time. So um, it, it was a bit of a battle in there, but um, a few of our players done really well. We, Jamie and Dale, fought well. And, uh, uh, the forwards done it in the end. Kyle getting his goal was brilliant. He's uh, one of our youngsters that's came through the ranks and uh, through the under 20s mm -hmm. and stuff. So for him to get the win was great. And the conditions as well? Like what uh, a commitment uh, it is from the players I and know. the referee as well, just to be out there yeah. on a day yeah, like today. Some of them are well deserving on their shivers tonight. Anyway. They are. They are. And, uh, some of them I couldn't even see the back, the back of their jerseys for the numbers at one point. Oh so, yeah, there's uh, some that you didn't even know who they were. <laughs> and a uh, final question for you then for, mm -hmm. for today: um, Would you have a message for any local fans wanting to come watch football at this level? Just come along. I was. Uh, I, I am still um, a big Rangers fan, but uh, I. I came along for the first time when I was about 15 years old and I've not stopped coming since. Um, get involved with your club. Uh, you, you know, you, you come in, you come in with a £10 note, you spend £7 at the gate, £2 in the programme, a pound in the raffle, and then you get well, the incredible the pies and, nice. and all sorts. So, um, no, it's a great atmosphere, it's a great laugh, just sitting in the, in the shed there on top yeah. of everyone and, and getting in about the atmosphere. And you, you get to know the players as well, it's on a yeah. personal level, so it's a great level of football. Just get involved, you can do it on a on a Saturday before the Rangers or Celtic game on a Sunday. Just come along and, and support your local team. Ryan, hey Scott. Robert. And you're all Blantyre Vicks fans? Yeah. yeah. Do you support a bigger team or just Blantyre? Celtic. Celtic. All Celtic. Yeah. Who would you rather won the league this year, Celtic or Blantyre Vicks? Probably, Ooh, it, 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 would be, it would be good to see the Vicks win the league. It would be good to see Vicks win the league, but uh, I'd have to say Celtic. And for you, yeah. And how do you think they got on today? Uh, it was a good yeah. game. It was yeah. a bit of ups and downs. The pitch was a bit terrible, but... Yeah. It's they got the points. And so as Celtic fans, you do you know about the big connections with a couple of the bigger legends from here yeah, as well? Yeah, we, see, we, we, know, we know a couple of them, yeah. We know a couple. Must be proud then, coming yeah. to see a, a small yes. team like this yeah. and knowing that yeah. they've contributed to Celtic as well. Yep. I'm always blown away by the commitment of the players at this level, especially on days like today when you consider, look at that, even just standing on the touchline, look at what it's done to this poor pitch. But yeah, what an amazing football club. This is here on the outskirts of Glasgow in Blantyre where they have created legends like Jock Steen and Billy McNeil as well as the others that we've heard of today. Um, but yeah, of all the uh, ex-legends that have been here, I wonder if there's any ones that we've seen today that will go on um, to play Premiership football or maybe even win a European Cup, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if, uh, if you're from Blantyre, if you're one of the players, if you're going to be uh, one of the stars of the future um, that we'll look out for in the Champions League one day soon. But yeah, what an amazing club to come and see on a rainy Saturday. Roland Sausage, former European Cup winners, absolutely pissing with rain. Cool little stands like this, look at that. Got to come and see them play. I'm going to leave. Since we've been talking about the Lisbon Lions, I'll leave a Lisbon Lion related video on screen. I will also leave a non-league video on screen. So you've got the choice. There's a non-league one on there right now and one about the history of Celtic too. So please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you so much and goodbye.